Hello uh, and uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, my name is Iftikhar Hussain Ansari. Uh, and we have to study uh, today. Uh, I am going to uh, discuss about this excretory system uh, that uh, that is under uh, subject structure and function in invertebrates, MSc first semester, uh, University of Ladakh. Uh, today uh, we have to discuss about this excretory system in earthworm. Uh, like as all of you know that in last class we have discussed uh, we have started this excretory system in any leads and in any leads we uh, we were discussing about excretory system with respect to different classes so uh, in last class we started about the uh, we, we started uh, uh, from neri studying excretory system in neri that comes under uh, class polyketa so today we are going to discuss about this uh, uh, earthworm excretory system in earthworm and it comes under phylum uh, oligoketa uh, so further if you'll see uh, its classification uh, it comes under phylum annelida uh, class uh, oligoketa order ophistophora family megascolicidae or uh, genus uh, is ferretima further if you'll see the excretory system in this earthworm you'll find that uh, uh, the excretion is being done by these uh, tube-like structures, coils, tube-like coil structures. These are known as nephridia. Uh, and further, if you'll see, these are microscopic structures that are uh, segmentally arranged. That means uh, it has uh, also been uh, conveyed to you that this uh, at uh, that this in particular this phylum, uh, their main characteristic is that uh, its body is metamerically segmented. The and in each segment you will find this nephridia the dead lie in the in in dead lie distributed uh, with respect to this uh, segmentally uh, segmentally arranged or uh, into these segments uh, where this nephridia uh, helps in excretion uh, tick uh, further if you'll see uh, structure of this nephridium you'll find that uh, uh, it's opening uh, uh, or you will say that uh, the proximal part of this nephridial structure or the uh, or, or if you'll see the uh, if you'll if you'll take a single nephridium you will find that on the proximal part you will find a, an opening uh, through an opening it's a ciliated opening funnel like opening it's known as nephrostrom uh, which which uh, which is opening into the silom of that particular segment and further if we'll see about the size of, of this earth, uh, of this nephridia in this earthworm you will find that uh, with respect to that we have studied in earlier class uh, in uh, neris that was uh, the, in that case the nephridium was mega nephridia that is the nephridia was larger in size but in this particular case the macro ma the nephridia are smaller in size but they are numerous in number in with respect to different segments further if you'll see the uh, excretory structures uh, they are these excretory structure or nephridia they are present in the entire body with, uh, except the first three segment first three segment may they are absent further if you'll see uh, with respect to the location uh, where they are present they are distinguished or differentiated into three different types or uh, or you may say that there are three different types of nephridial system in this particular earthworm with respect to uh, if you'll see with respect to their location you have this pharyngeal nephridia antegumentary nephridia as well as septal nephridia Further, uh, if we'll start studying about this septal nephridia, you will find that uh, these are uh, intersegmental septum uh, that are present fr uh, from 15 segment onward uh, towards the posterior part of the body. Uh, it means that uh, these uh, inter uh, these septal nephridia are present from 15 segment onwards towards the posterior part of the body, and uh, from 15 segment towards the uh, uh, anterior part of the body, they these septal nephridia are lacking or uh, absent. They are just present from 15 segment. Uh, towards the posterior part of the body uh, and they are lying on the septum uh, septum is uh, septa you you have uh, yes, already studied about this septum septum is the layer which is uh, which differentiates one segment from different segment it's a uh, it's a single cell a uh, single layer uh, which uh, differentiate or which uh, which sept uh, which forms a separate structure between two uh, uh, segments uh, so further if you'll see each sept each septum bears nephridia on both surface uh, if you'll see the arrangement of this nephridia on this septum you will find that these are arranged in a semicircular fashion with respect to that of intestine and they are pre present from uh, both uh, in a transverse section if you if you'll see in a transverse section on a septum you will find that they are formed in uh, two rows uh, uh, in front of the septum and two behind it you will find that these uh, structure 
these uh, nephridian structures are present in uh, two rows in front of septum and two uh, behind it further if you will see uh, the number of these nephridia present in each septum you will find that there are uh, present 40 to 50 nephridia in front uh, as well as uh, the same number of nephridia are also pr uh, pre present on the back, uh, back face of this septum so if you will uh, calculate uh, in, in if you will see for an overall uh, ratio of this uh, uh, nephridial system present in each uh, septum you will find that there are 80 to 100 septal nephridia uh, that are present uh, in each segment except the 15 segment which only possesses 40 to 50 nephridia because its anterior portion is lacking nephridia because for, uh, from 15 segment towards the anterior portion there is no septal nephridia present uh, further uh, if you will see uh, structure of this uh, nephridia uh, nephridial system you will find that uh, uh, the nephridia are differentiated uh, or with respect to their location or you can say that it is distinguished with respect to their uh, place uh, for example if you will see this um, uh, they uh, they have this they have got this uh, pharyngeal nephridia at the anterior portion uh, look the segmentations are being numbered in a numerical fashion from 1 to uh, 16 and onwards you will find that at the anterior portion 1 to 7 portion you have this uh, pharyngeal nephridia present and from fra uh, 7 fragments onward uh, so a 7 segment onward towards 14 segment you will find this uh, integumentary nephridia further from uh, 14 to 15 segment to uh, posterior part of the body you you will see this uh, septal nephridia are present and they are present on the septum uh, semi uh, se uh, arranged in a semi circular fashion on the septum uh, with respect to that of intestine further if you see the structure of this uh, uh, nephridia or, or a single nephridium you will find that it uh, possesses a nephrostrum that is the proximal part of this uh, uh, nephridium and uh, it uh, converts into a, a neck like structure uh, which is a, a converging structure or a thin structure further uh, if we, if you'll see its body it contains a straight lobe as well as a twisted lobe the uh, the the twisted lobe is formed of uh, two limbs uh, the distal limb and the proximal limb uh, got twisted on each other and formed this twisted limb and further you will see that this particular nephrostome uh, possesses an apical part as well as a, a lower part uh, you will see the, a straight lobe as well as a mouth portion the, uh, uh, this known as nephrostome a, 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 a neck present and uh, and, uh, and in overall you will see a terminal part or a terminal duct is also present which is uh, ta which takes this excretory waste material towards the towards outside the body further if you will see if we'll uh, start discussing about uh, from uh, from the proximal part if we start discussing about this nephrostome you'll find that uh, these are ciliated funnel like structure uh, ciliated funnel like structure because of this uh, ciliated funnel like structure they are known as meta nephridia uh, and this proximal part or this nephrostome is present in the silomic cavity silom uh, silom of this particular segment mm, and uh, if you see further the structure of this mouth like structure or the nephrostome it uh, it forms an elliptical mouth like structure with the upper lip and lower lip uh, which helps in uh, closing and opening of this particular shutting and uh, opening of this particular uh, uh, channel or nephrostome further if you see uh, this nephrostome is uh, is uh, connected to this neck uh, neck uh, is this uh, short narrow ciliated canal uh, forming the neck means that um, this uh, uh, neck portion is uh, a, a narrow structure uh, that is communicating with uh, nephrostome and rest of the body part uh, or rest of the uh, nephridium nephridial system it uh, comprises of a ciliated canal means uh, from uh, in its interior portion you will find uh, this uh, canal like structure or tube like structure which is being ciliated uh, and it connects the nephrostome with rest of the body part further if you will see body of the nephridium uh, see i'll show you again about this structure uh, you will uh, you will get it uh, a closer view you will find that it has pre it it comprises of a nephrostome a neck and this neck uh, is communicating is communicating between this nephrostome and rest of the body part further we will start uh, studying about this body part of this nephridium you will find uh, there are two parts uh, there is a straight lobe as well as a long twisted lobe and if you will see this uh, loop uh, or this uh, spirally arranged structure you will find that it's formed of two uh, limbs these are proximal limb and distal limb they got uh, uh, spirally arranged around each other and forms this twisted loop further if you will see this uh, about these uh, limbs uh, that are twisted spirally around each other 
their number varies from uh, 9 to 13 uh, in each segment uh, sorry uh, their spiral arrangement uh, varies from uh, 9 to 13 uh, further if you'll see the neck region of nephridium if you'll see the structure uh, again you will find this this neck like structure is connected with this uh, terminal part as well as this uh, pro proximal tubule and the uh, distal tubule fo is forming this straight lobe uh, and this particular thing is written in this slide uh, you will see that uh, this uh, the neck of nephridium and terminal duct join together and remain connected with the proximal limb of the twisted loop while that the distal limb uh, is forming this uh, straight lobe structure thick further uh, if you will see uh, internally uh, you will find that uh, Internally, its structure is uh, comprising of uh, this. Uh, inter internally, if you'll see, uh, the, uh, these, uh, these comprise of tube like structure, uh, wiring, uh, wire, uh, wide like structure. Uh, if you'll study about this, uh, the, uh, these uh, tube like structure or uh, these uh, tubules are being uh, emerged in this uh, connective tissue matrix. Uh, uh, in 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 inside of this nephridium further if you'll see a canal system there are four uh, such canals that are present in the straight lobe three in the twisted lobe and two in the apical lobe uh, two canals in the apical lobe if you, and if you'll see this uh, uh, the canals in this uh, two in this uh, straight lobe you will find that two of the this excretory canal uh, or uh, two of this uh, canal in the straight lobe are ciliated while the rest of the two are non ciliated beta Thick. Mm, further, if you uh, study about this terminal duct, uh, this uh, this extreme extreme structure that is present at the uh, posterior more portion or the you will say that uh, distal portion of this nephridium, you will find that this uh, nephridi uh, this uh, terminal duct uh, it's a short narrow uh, excretory duct. Uh, and it joins uh, this nephridium uh, with the septal excretory canal. I'll show you what is this septal excretory canal in this next slide. You will see, uh, see these particular nephridial structure or small nephridial structure or septal nephridia that are present uh, uh, on the septum uh, in a semicircular fashion. That are uh, these uh, the opening, the excretory opening, or this terminal or uh, terminal opening of this uh, of each the, of each uh, of each septal nephridia is opening into a septal excretory canal. Uh, it's a single semicircular canal that is opening uh, uh, on the dorsal portion into this uh, supraintestinal excretory duct. So, further studying about this, uh, uh, further studying about this uh, terminal duct, you will find that uh, it's a, sh a short, narrow terminal excretory duct, uh, and it uh, joins this nephridium with septal excretory canal, as I have uh, already shown you in this part in in the diagram that is uh, in the coming slide. Further, if you'll see nephridia in this case, uh, septal nephridia, they, e, these nephridia are hanging freely and they are just connected with this terminal duct with the septal